Hey there, I hope everyone is doing well and having a great week. I wanted to take just a moment and follow up from last week's video where we introduced the idea of Kairos moments. Like I said in last week's video, uh, this idea of Kairos moments has been wildly helpful for me in learning how to pay attention and participate with the activity of God in my life. And oftentimes when I talk about this concept with people, one of the questions I hear is, Brian, how do I know? How do I know that I'm experiencing a Kairos moment? And we said last week that one of the things to pay attention to are moments when life feels disrupted or moments when life feels out of control because oftentimes in those moments of disruption or lack of control, God is able to move in and build faith and sow the seeds of faith in our own heart. Sometimes we think that the opposite of faith is doubt but I would say the opposite of faith is control. Thinking like, I'm the master of my destiny. I'm the one who calls the shots. I'm the one who makes decisions. And so when life feels disrupted and when life feels out of control, we said last week, that doesn't necessarily mean God is causing the disruption, but he's present in the disruption to extend the invitation. Hey, 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 follow me. Trust me, know that I'm with you and that everything is going to be okay. And so in this video, I want to give you five categories of five different types of Kairos moments that you might be looking for in your own life when it comes to trying to pay attention and participate with God. And the first one is a big one. The first one is something we call the brick wall moment. It's one of those moments in life where for some reason life just stops working and it feels as though you have run into a brick wall and things are falling apart and life just feels like, oh man, how am I going to pick up the pieces of this? And so what we're experiencing as a country in the world right now would be a brick wall moment. Everything has been disrupted. Everything is on halt. Everything has been disoriented for so many people. And many people are wondering, like, what, what do we do next? A, a brick wall Kairos moment is a massive moment that really brings life to a standstill and causes you to ask major questions about how you move forward from one day to the next. So the first is a brick wall. The second is something we call a speed bump. And right, this is my real sad attempt at drawing a car, but it's a speed bump. It's one of those moments in life that seems to happen repeatedly. It's like if you can think about driving through a neighborhood and every 50 yards there's a speed bump. It's one of those things that just repeatedly happens in life that gets your attention, that causes some discomfort. Maybe you find every Tuesday when you get home from work, there's this anger that bubbles up in you. Or maybe you find once you hit a certain time of the year, maybe it's the start of a new school year, there's anxiety that's present with you or maybe every time you hit a holiday season the holiday season there's all this fear about connecting with family those repeated moments in life oftentimes are moments when God is present with us trying to get our attention to engage with him so a speed bump moment would be a moment that is a repeated moment that you find there's a pattern there where every time you experience the same situation you have a similar emotional reaction. The next type of Kairos moment is something we would call a mirror moment. It's like you have this moment where you see yourself clearly in a mirror for who you really are. I can still remember, this is probably six, seven years ago, I was reading the scriptures, reading through uh, the book of First Samuel, and Saul, who was the king of Israel at that time, was given very specific instruction by Samuel, who was the prophet and judge of God, kind of overseeing the nation of Israel at that time. Samuel gave Saul some very clear instructions that Saul did not follow, and because of his disobedience, obedience, God removed the kingship of Israel from Saul. And I can remember one day I was reading that story, I was reading through what Saul was doing, and I found in my heart saying, I would have done the exact same thing that Saul did. And it was this moment where the scriptures reflected back to me things that were in my own heart, the, this disobedience that was present there that I would have done the same thing Saul did. 
if I was in that moment. And so it was this clear reflection of who I am and sometimes what lies within. And so a mirror moment is one of those moments where you begin to see yourself clearly for maybe areas in your life where you need to grow in faith or trust or obedience. And so you have a brick wall moment, you have a speed bump moment, you have a mirror moment, and then another one we call a vision moment. And so um, this is my attempt at drawing some uh, binoculars here, right? Because binoculars help you see into the future. They help you see what's coming down the line. And so maybe God at some point gives you clarity on like, hey, this is what's coming next for you. This is your next step in life. And I can remember when we moved from Atlanta to Milwaukee, there was a clear moment where it was like God was saying to us, hey, we're, we're moving you on. I'm moving you on to a new season of life. I'm getting you ready to move elsewhere. There's a new calling I have for you. And at that time, I didn't know the specifics of what it was, but it became clear to our family that God has something else for us in the future. And we now need to pay attention to what that is to discern and discover that. And then the last moment is what we call a moment that would maybe be sublime. And this is just a little flower to to represent the beautiful things of life. The joyful moments when you welcome in a new child to your family, when you celebrate a birthday, when you uh, have a victory over, you know, some sin in your life, or you just have a great experience in life that you're like, oh, this is the good stuff of life. Those good things are good gifts from God. And so as you practice paying attention, it's helpful to have some categories as to what am I looking for when I'm trying to pay attention to God's activity in my life. It could be a brick wall moment. It could be a speed bump moment. It could be a moment where you see the reflection of yourself clearly for what's going on in your heart. Maybe it's uh, kind of some vision for the future or just enjoying the beautiful simple things of life. So I'd love to hear from you. We'd love to hear from you. What are the Kairos moments that you're experiencing? Where are you sensing that God is at work, where he's calling you, leading you, inviting you to trust him more? We'd love to hear from you. Comment below, send us a message, and let us know what is God up to in your life. Grace and peace to you. We look forward to seeing you again real soon. Take care.